everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I'll be guiding you through two synth tutorials. So this will be back to back. One will focus on an electronic dance music uh, pluck that does a lot of heavy processing, and I go through everything quite fast. So if you're not up to par, I'll try and slow things down for you. The second synth we're going to be working on is just a third trance chord type synth. It's not hard to make and I think it adds a lot of impact to this demo and can impact your sounds very, very dramatically. So I'll be, uh, I'll just let this play and then we'll discuss how to make each synth. So. Uh, enjoy this demo example. So those are the two types of synths we're going to be making. The pluck, uh, which sounds, well, plucky, sounds something like this. And the main chords for the trance synth sound like this. So uh, let's get to it. I'm going to go to my reason, create new. I'm going to drag up my mixer, drag down the sequencer, and in this I'm going to right click. You can also control click if you want to get this menu. I currently work in Reason 6.5.3. If you work in any earlier versions, um, I don't know how. I, I guess you, I'll say to skip this step and it will probably still sound the same. Anyways, I want to right click or control click, uh, go to Utilities and create Combinator. Now in this combinator, I'm going to create a, there's a red box here, I'm going to click inside there. In this, I'm going to go to my instruments and create Maelstrom. Now for my Maelstrom, I'm going to attack the range. For the range, we want this instead of 7 to be 2. We want the filter to be up a bit, so about 36 or so. We also want our filter envelope velocity up a bit, so about 30 should be good. That's all we need to do for the modulation. For our mod, oh I'm sorry, for our first oscillator, we're going to change this to a triangle and pitch it up an octave. Then we're going to take the decay down in the attack put up the release about 17, and take the sustain all the way down. We're also going to copy this for our oscillator B, so attack down, okay, about 18 or so, and the sustain and release are the same. Sustain all the way down and release about 24. Then we want this to be routed to shaper A, and we want I'm sorry, our first oscillator needs to be routed to shaper A. Our second oscillator, make sure to turn it on and switch it to triangle. And we're going to take it down an octave and put up one cent on this. Or we can take it down one cent. Let's do that. One cent or two. Yeah, that should be good. All right, that's what we have. For our filter, we're going to turn on basically everything. We're going to turn on shaper, we're going to turn on filter A, all that good stuff. So for filter B, we're going to take the resonance up, so about 28, and the filter about 26. We're also going to do this for our filter A, take the frequency down to 26, and the resonance up a bit. For our shaper, we're actually going to change this to noise. 
and leave the amount where it is. For our filter envelope, this is a bit tricky. Uh, we're going to take our decay down to 36. Our release, we're going to put that up about 58. And we're going to take our sustain all the way down. OK, so now that we have our maelstrom, let's have a listen. Turn up the decay a little bit more on each synth. So 36 for both of them. Boop. There we go. We have our plug in the right range. After this, I'm going to right click and create an RV7000 advanced reverb. I want to take both the dry, wet, and the decay to about 20. Or however close you can get it. Reason is kind of picky about that. It, sometimes it'll do even, and other times it'll do odd when trying to get the right numbers. After this, I'm going to create a Line 6 bass amp and turn on the compressor. That's all we need to do for, we don't need to mess with any of the volume or anything. After this, we're going to create go into creative effects and create a screen for distortion unit. In this distortion unit, we're going to turn it to tape. We're going to turn up P1 and P2 all the way. We're going to turn on cut. We're going to take low about negative 20. We're going to take mid about 13. And we're going to leave high where it is. For our body, we're going to Actually, we don't mess with the body, so uh, on to the next step. After this, I'm going to create an MC class equalizer, an MC class maximizer, and also another line 6 base amp. So for our equalizer, we want to turn on basically everything. So low cut, low shell, parameter 1, parameter 2, and high shelf. For our low shelf, we actually leave the frequency where it is, but we take the gain down to about 6.9 and we leave the Q where it is. For parameter 1, we're going to take this about a quarter, so about 104 hertz uh, gain down and uh, turn the Q a little bit less, so about 3.9. For parameter 2, we're going to leave the frequency where it is, we're going to take the gain down all the way and the Q all the way up. For our high shelf, we're going to take this to about uh, 9,454 kilohertz. Our gain is going to be all the way down and we're going to turn our Q all the way up. So will start to create this nice uh, rising curve as it starts to decay past the 20 kilohertz. So we won't get any uh, distortion when dealing with the higher when you play higher chords and higher notes it won't disrupt your mix for our maximizer we're going to turn on soft clip turn the amount to 127 and we're also going to turn on release to auto take off limiter and put our compressor on now if we have a listen We have successfully created our plug synth. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be in a few minutes. Uh, or probably not. It takes a while to upload. But uh, have a great uh, Friday. And it's before a very special holiday tomorrow. Uh, chill out, relax, and create some amazing stuff. I'll see you guys uh, in a minute.